I think this video is going to appeal mostly to the people that have to work in airsoft. Anyone who works in retail has this. And so you should know, you should know what it's like to have an absolute penis of a potential customer. Not even a customer, a potential customer. Hello, kiddies. I've been asked a few questions. Uh, <laughs> I was told it'd be very, very cringy if I elected to do a video where I basically read out mean comments and yeah, that's not, that's not good for anyone's mental health. So what I'll do instead is I'm going to address a few of the things that have popped up in the last few months. Not all of everything you're going to hear and see is going to be relevant to one individual person or uh, one particular example, but some of these things I'm sure some of you will recognize that you have said. And I'm gonna be addressing a few elephants in the room just because it makes me feel happy and it will give a lot of you fuckers a giggle. It's gonna upset a few of you. Obviously, I don't give a fuck. I'm always very clear about that. Negative airsoft deleted my comment. Yes, he did. He absolutely did. Because if you're acting like an absolute shit cunt, why do you think I want to see that? Why do you think I'm going to care about that? Why do you think if you leave a shithole comment about how you feel I've done something all wrong or my information isn't correct or, you know, forgetting that I do add lies into my videos to fuck with people, why do you think I'm going to leave that comment there? Like, if someone's being a particular bell end, I really will go, bra fucking vo. I really, really will, and I'll pin your comments so everyone else can see what an absolute twat you are. I've done that on numerous occasions. So, enjoy that. Enjoy that. A particularly good example of that was the dude who, uh, when I put my video up, what was what was the video? In my FPS, don't use point twos video. Just say no. There were a couple of people who didn't get it, but one guy in particular did not get it to such an excruciating length and depth that I had to pin his comment. He didn't understand that when I said, you go back and you see another guy at the airsoft site, and now it's a different bloke chronoing, and he does the chart, and I show you in the video how you're meant to follow the chart, versus how the chrono moron follows the chart incorrectly. And he jumped on that so fucking hard that all of my info was wrong, because I didn't follow the chart correctly. Like... People are so desperate to prove me wrong that they won't even get to another point in the video to figure out. They won't even take into example the finer points of the video so that I can show you the problem. You want to jump on it straight away. Smash, smash, smash. I've got to prove negative airsoft wrong. Well, now your comment's pinned. I've screenshotted it in case you delete it. My friend, you're a fucking idiot. Stupid questions. And we are talking the depths of stupid, pointless fucking questions that I get, right? This is a prime example. Motor towers. People have said to me, ah, I've got one of your motor towers. I do want to fit ESO bearings, but I can't get these bearings out now. And I've gone, for you and just you, send it back to me at your own cost. And I will ship out another one, if, you've, if you haven't used it, with the bearings separate. So then you can fit your own bearings if you want to. So I got a message that said, Hi, I see you're now selling your motor towers with the bearings in the packet separately. And I said, yes, that's correct. You have to put them in yourself. 
Okay, well, why are you doing that? Well, it's so, as it says in the post, so that people can supply their own bearings, the ones that they would prefer. It's too expensive for me to warrant getting in ESO bearings because I don't think people are going to like the price because they don't realise how expensive ESO bearings are. So it's up to them, you know, uh, if, the, if these are already in there, they're quite hard to get out. They are just press fit but they are quite hard to get out. They may cause damage and it's not worth it. So it's better just to allow people to buy them and supply them themselves. Okay, well, I want ESO bearings. Okay, cool. So you buy the motor tower and instead of installing the ones that come with it, you can just uh, buy your own ESO bearings if you want. Okay, can you supply the bearings? No, I, I'm not gonna supply the bearings. Uh, you would have to source them yourself. A lot of places to get decent ESO bearings, the proper branded ones are between four and six pounds each. They can be quite expensive and I have to buy them in bulk as well. So it's better that you do it. It would basically double the cost of the motor tower. It's not worth it. The ones that I use are perfectly good. You shouldn't need to buy ESO bearings. This is what I've gone with. Okay, but I don't want those ones. I want the ESO bearings. Okay, cool. So you go out and you have to find the ESO bearings. Can you measure these ones and tell me what they are? I can definitely measure them for you. I'm pretty sure I've done that in the other video, the one you've probably ignored because you need spoon fingering. So uh, there we go, look. 6.3 on the outside. So for your shaft, you measure your shaft. 3.1, give or take, give or take. Well, if, okay, if you've already got like all that information, can you order them for me? No, I'm not gonna order them for you because you're buying an item. This is the item you're buying. You're not paying for my time or my services. Okay, can I pay for your time and services? Yes, it's 45 pounds an hour. Plus the bearings, it's stupid. No, just, uh, you've got the, got the sizes, get, get your own bearings. You can do that, you'll, you'll manage it. If you're someone who wants to build your own airsoft gun and build your own motor and your own motor tower, all that stuff, you should hopefully be able to, I know you fucking can't, you should be able to source your own bearings. If that's what you want, if you are the expert and that's what you need, you should know where to get those and how to get them and you shouldn't be asking somebody else to do it for you. Well, what if I get the ESO bearings and I decide I don't want them? Can I send the motor tower back to you? No, because then you would have fitted the bearings. Once you fitted things to it, you've used it, okay? If you can't return it once you've started doing things to it. That's how it is, this is how it works. You've done something to it. If you then want to take them out, I'm not gonna refund you for this. You put something in and taking it back out again, should have, you know, no, that's not how it works. This is the choice you make. This is the world we live in. Well, what if I don't like these bearings? Well, if you don't like these, there's no reason for you not to like them. If you don't like these bearings, you can buy whichever bloody bearings you want to, but it's up to you which bearings you choose. And you have to use the ones you think is best. These are the ones that I think are best. These are the ones that come with it. And it is the price, 15 pounds the most tower with these plus the postage. It's very, very simple to fit them. They just go in. You know, yes, I've got a little tool that helps out a little bit. It's one of these, just uh, helps it get into that perfect place, all right? And then you use a small rubber tipped thing and you tap it with a hammer and it's perfect. It's very, very, very simple. And it takes all that amount of time to fit them. It really is that simple. Well, the thing is once I've done that, once I fitted them and I do decide I wanna change them, how do I get them out? Well, they're difficult to get out, which is why they're separate in the first place. Stop wasting my time. Stop wasting my time. I'm not that guy. Immediately afterwards. Hi, you were just talking to my friend about motor towers. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, he says that you'll do um, uh, a discount on them. Yes, I will. If you buy uh, multiples of the same item, I will do you a discount. Let's say uh, you buy five, I'll do 10% off the total of the items plus the shipping. Or if you buy 10, I'll do 20% off of each item plus the shipping. Okay, um, well, I only want three, okay? You have to pay full price. Well, that's not really fair. Well, we don't live in a fair world. I think it is quite fair to ask you to pay full price for an item that is full price. The only reason I'm doing a discount on multiples is because I'm being nice for people who want multiples. Generally speaking, that's gonna be other techs and people who do lots of work for their mates and sites and whatever. That's the reason. Okay, well, uh, can I have my friends all buy them uh, separately? No, they all have, I want it in one transaction. I'm not messing around, one transaction. They all go in a packet, so get the money off your friends and then they give you the money, you can send the money to me and I go, here's the shipping, it's done. 10% off five of them and then shipping on top. Okay, um, can you ship to separate addresses? Yes, I can, I'll do that for you, but it is independent, individual uh, shippings. Well, that's not very fair. It's very fair, because I've got to pay for five different shippings, not one different shipping. And the amount I charge for shipping is actually less than the shipping fucking costs, including the packaging. So it's very, very fair. Okay, well, I think, well, um, uh, I'll get back to you. I'm sure you fucking won't. 
I'm sure you fucking won't. And it is an absolute waste of my time. An absolute waste of my time. But you have to answer the dumb fuck questions. And it does go back to The Simpsons. It really does. Miss, what does the I stand for? Uh, important. Ooh, how about the V? <laughs> Very. Oh, and Miss, just one more question. Person. Ah. What does the I stand for again? Uh -oh. It's the pies. Hi, I'm selling pies. They are apple pies. They are five pounds each. You can buy them at this location on this date using this payment method. Hi, are you selling pies? Yes, where can I get these pies? At this location. And how much are these pies? They are this much. Okay, and if I buy from this location uh, this many pies, can I get a discount? No, you cannot get a discount. These are the price of the pies. Okay, and uh, when are you selling these pies? Uh, I'm selling these pies at this location at this price on this date. I see, and um, uh, what, what's in the pies? Well, this is what's in the pies. And how many of those pies have got... Shut the fuck up. Read the shit, buy the stuff. If you don't like it or don't get it, go somewhere else. It's not going to trouble me. It's not going to trouble me. I mean, do you think I'm going to lose sleep? <laughs> because oh, I'm, I'm not going to buy your motor tower or nozzle. No. Oh no, whatever am I going to do without that couple of quid that I make? Literally that couple of quid. Like, I, I do this so I can at least get some fucking extra money in my pocket so I can just get a pint when I go fucking post stuff for people, you know? It quite literally makes you want to deliberately shit your pants. It really, really does. Just deliberately shit your pants. This dude wants a motor, a motor tower. He wants one of these and he's buying me a pint on my website. So I'm more than, and he's gonna pay for extra postage for a Saturday delivery. So I'm more than happy, more than happy to have all this stuff sent over and I'll go out, go out my way. Will you fit it for me? Yes, I will. Because you've done something nice for me. Of course I'll fit it for you because I'm a nice person. It doesn't take long. But if you act like an entitled knobhead, you're not gonna get fuck all. I think this video is going to appeal mostly to the people that have to work in Airsoft. Anyone who works in retail has this. And so you should know, you should know what it's like to have an absolute penis of a potential customer. Not even a customer, a potential customer. You must know what it's like. Just don't be like that, it's very simple. You have no idea how many times I just turn down orders from people if I think they're just being a knob. Because if they're gonna be a really overly meticulous, fucking self-absorbed knobhead before they've even given me a penny, they're gonna be even worse once I've got that fucking penny. So don't be that guy, it doesn't work with me. People who don't know what they fucking want. Who here works in an airsoft shop? But any retail environment, but let's go with any airsoft shop that you want to fucking think about, yeah? You work in an airsoft shop, you've definitely had this before. You're an airsoft tech, you've definitely had this before, all right? This is for you, beautiful people, because I fucking understand. We might not be on the same wavelength against a lot of things, but I tell you what, we are going to be fucking 100% on this. This is the video that you share to your mates and go, this because you'll fucking agree. Are you ready? Hello, I've got this gun. Will you work on it? No, because this gun is trash. I won't touch it. It's a bolt. I won't go near it or uh, it's whatever gun. I won't go near it. It's fucked. These are bad guns. I do not touch them. I will not touch them. I'm not touching it. I apologize. Okay, what would you recommend? Oh, that's difficult because I'm turning you down, so I will give you a bit more of my time to try and prove that I do want to be helpful where possible. I don't recommend anything to anyone ever. I just don't. I hate it. But if you are going to go with a brand that you are going to want modified, potentially by me, you want to avoid Neutral, you want to avoid Ares, and you want to avoid Bolt. Now, if you want to buy a TM recoil at 500 quid and spend a thousand pound putting more stuff in it, 
go for it. But it won't be me that does it because I don't believe it. I think you're robbing your customers when you do that. You're selling them off down the fucking river. That's the end of the conversation. So anything else, there's going to be good points and bad points. And they reply, okay, well, I've gone out and I bought a bolt anyway. Will you work on it? No, no, I, I won't work on the bolt. Okay, well, what will you work on? Okay, well, if you grab a SEMA, you're going to be laughing all the way to the bank. Get a SEMA Platinum, and they're actually a bit pricey for what they are. But once you've got it, I have to change out so few parts on the inside, it does work out cheaper overall. So get one of those. Yep, yeah, cool, I'll get one of those. Can you get it for me? No, I'm, no, I'm, no, me, no, I'm not going to get it for him. I don't, no, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I was just, yeah, no, if you can get it for me, because, um, I, yeah, if you can get, no, I'm, I'm not going to get it. Oh, can you please, no, I'm not, I'm not going to get it. Okay. Okay, what, what parts would you change? You tell him all the parts you're going to change. You tell him all the parts you're going to fucking change, and then oh, why are you going to change? You tell him why you change them. Well, I thought the gun was really good. Ah, no, I said it's better than most, but there are still things that you can do to the best thing to make it slightly better. You might have your favourite food, you might put some extra salt on it, you know? It might be your favourite type of fucking tea, you may or may not have milk or sugar today. It's how you feel, these are the things that I would change, blah. Okay, well, I've, I've actually gone out and I've bought something completely different. Right. So, will you work on that instead? Well, what is it? Well, it hasn't arrived yet. Okay, but what is it? Well, it's, um, it's one of the other things you don't really like to work on. Okay, so you've asked my advice. I've given you my advice. I've told you what I will and won't work on. I've given you more advice. And you've gone against my advice, bought something else, and now you want me to work on it. You're wasting your own time as well as mine, sir. You're wasting your own time. Oh, yeah, I was using it for my first time today, and it broke. Oh, how about that? Well, we'll just send it back. Will, will you fix it? Yes, I'll fix it for you. Yes, I'll fix it for you. Yes, I'll, okay, fine. Yes, send it over. I'll fix it for you. Okay, what are you going to do to it? I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. You can send it back to the shop under warranty, or I can fix it for you and I'll charge you. Those are the options. That's the options on the table. Send back for warranty, or give to me, I fix, I charge you. Those are the options. Okay, well, what would you change out inside it? No, 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 no. I said I'd fix it for you. That's what we're doing, fixing it. Warranty or send to me at charge. What's it going to be? I'll send it to you. Cool. Item arrives. With a list of things they want done inside it. You change this and do that and change this and do that. And you go, right. Okay. So I've explained. Right. Okay. It's here now. Fuck it. It's here now. Fuck it. Let's do it. All right. Okay. Will you put a gate tighten in there? No, I won't. Well, I want a gate tighten. I'm not going to put a gate tighten. I don't trust them. I'll put a Perrin hybrid. At best, you'll get an Aster. But... It's going to be a parent hybrid. That's what I think is best. Okay, well, I'd like you to put a Gate Titan. I don't have any Gate Titans. I don't keep them anymore. I'm not going to use a Gate Titan. If you buy one and send it to me, I'll fit it. Oh, okay, well, how much are they? I don't know, because you've got to buy it and you've got to send it to me. That's how it works. You buy it, you send it to me, I'll put it inside. I'll take it, put it back in its box. I've not opened it yet. Put it back in its box. I've not done anything to over here. And it's going to the shelf. And that's the end of it. And we're all good, right? When the Titan arrives, I'll put it in. Okay, well, how much is it going to cost? I don't know what's broken yet because I'm not opening it yet because I'm not going to open it once to potentially lose parts and put it back together again to do it all again so when your Titan arrives. Okay, I'll have a parent then. Okay, cool. We'll put the parent right. So get it back out. Okay, put the parent in. Okay, the parent. okay well, um, can you can you put DSG? No, I'm not going to DSG. I don't DSG things for people I don't know. I very rarely do it for friends. I'm not doing it. There's no DSG happening. I'm not going to do this right now. Okay, we've been through this. Well, I'd like you to DSG it anyway. Can you use this kind of piston? No, 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 no. If, if you want that stuff, you supply it and send it. But you don't get any warranty on things that you've supplied. Because I'm not going to offer warranty on something that I don't trust. It's not going to happen. Okay, well, I'm just this isn't a very good service. Well, fuck you. Here you go, mate. Have it back. And you better believe that has happened to all of us. Except I actually do send it back. And I'll spend my own money. I'll send that motherfucker back. <laughs> I've just lost money out of my pocket sending that to you, but it's also a fuck you, because no. If you're gonna ask someone to do a job, please don't try and tell them how they should be doing the job. Don't tell them how they should be doing the job. That's not what's going on here. You don't tell them how to do the job. If you don't know what you're doing and need to ask advice on absolutely everything, you definitely don't have the right to tell the person doing the job for you how they should be doing it. Because that is fucking ignorant and it's fucking rude. You don't do that. You've come to people like me for a reason. So you do that thing, okay? Let me do my stuff. I've got no budget, okay? Do you mean you've got no budget? Oh no, I've got, I've got, I've got a budget. It doesn't matter how much it costs, 
okay, well, you need to change this, 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 and this. Why? Well, you bought a VFC MCX. It's a VFC for a start, and it's shit. So um, you need to change all these parts. How much is that going to be? About 400, 450 quid to change everything and my time and make it all work and testing and blah. I haven't really got that much. What the fuck just happened to I've got absolutely no budget for this, spend as much as you need? Where the fuck did that just go? Where the fuck did that just go? You know, when you ask a band, will you play at my pub for free? Because it's good exposure. Will you do a free tattoo for me? You can do whatever you want. Think of it as good practice for you. No, you pay for their fucking time because the only way they get their practice is by doing the job. But if they're not getting paid for it, you know, McDonald's workers don't learn how to make the fucking burgers and clean tables so they can learn how to do it for fucking free. Are you fucking crazy? Do one, fuck you, no way. Then you've got the people that think that I own a time machine. Why, why are you guys posting? Why are you leaving comments? I understand people leave comments on YouTube. That's what it's for. It's for the engagement. I get it. Well, I've got an opinion. Well, people like me don't give a fuck about your opinion. You can post it anyway. If I think you're a cunt, I'll either block your opinion. Whichever, whichever I think is funniest to me. That's how my life works. If I made a video, and here's two examples. Hello, uh, you didn't leave a parts list for the uh, complete video that you've done here. Uh... Could you send me a parts list if I email you, or could you please pin a parts list? Video was made four years ago. No, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to leave a parts list for you. All right, I'm not going to do that because this is a four-year-old video. You know, there's gonna be low. That could be a three or four-hour job that's condensed into twenty minutes. There's gonna be loads of shit in there. That I don't remember what I fucking did yesterday. I don't know what I did to that cunt's gun fucking four years ago. Are you mental? I don't know. I'm not very clever. I don't remember. So don't leave fucking stupid comments like that because you get ignored. The other one. Uh, I think you've used the wrong parts there. I think you should fuck off. I don't give a fuck what you think. That's why I'm doing this and you're doing that. You're sat there typing in your pants while I'm working. I don't care what you think. But the biggest one is... That video I did uh, with all the brands and you know what I think of those particular brands and whatever else, I regret that video massively. Because A, some of the brands on there that I did like are now fuck. And some of the brands on there that I think were fuck have really pulled their socks up. And that makes life difficult because things fluctuate in quality. It's batch to batch, company to company, Fucking, how long's been sat on a shelf with no one buying it? You know, has it eroded, deteriorate? All kinds of shit. Uh, you've forgotten a few there, actually. You've even put a video up recently of a Rossi Neptune, and uh, you didn't actually put it on your list. Well, no, I didn't fucking put it on my list. You know why? Because that shit only came out a few fucking months ago, and I did that video fucking years ago. Hang on, let me get my time machine. There we go, look. There's my time machine. It's very small, but if we both squeeze in, we can go back in time together. And we'll go, oh, we go back in time. Woo! And off we go. We both fuck off back in time. And I jump in on my former self. And I go, oh, make sure you remember to put this thing in. Well, I haven't heard of that one, Luke. And what the fuck are you doing here in my bedroom? Fuck off. It doesn't matter. Don't forget this one you've never seen yet. What the fuck do you want from me there? What? How? Are you not? Look at when the video was made. Look at when the video was made. And you're naming things that have been fucking made now. What the fuck are you thinking? Hi, can you do the gun when I send it to you the same way as you did the other one in that video you did? <laughs> Hang on a second. Oh, you are really... I'm sorry, my psychic abilities are playing up a little bit, I'm afraid, mate. Um, uh, As much as I'm trying, I've got no fucking idea what you're talking about. Because guess what? You're being vague as shit. Come on now, give me a fucking clue. Give me a clue. Just a little clue at least. Hi, you worked on my gun uh, a year ago. It's going great. I've just bought another gun. I know you don't like it. Uh, it's broken. Lol. I know what you're going to say. Lol. Uh, can you tell me over the phone for free how to fix it? And tell me where to buy the parts from? No, I fucking can't. I'm super nice to you as a customer and a fucking person who's doing the work. You know, you've asked me. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fucking lovely chap, me. Don't take the piss. 
don't take the piss. You need the thing fixed, fucking send it to me, I'll fix it. Don't ask me to diagnose and fix for you. Don't do that, because I'm not gonna fucking do it. Yeah, I mean, um, I won't get to a post office till 4, 4.30. I mean, um, unfortunately, uh, if, you, if you'd have paid a couple of days ago, you would have definitely got it in time. I'm just saying, it's uh, it's you that's rushing me and not the other way around. What about the ones, what about the fucking ones, right? Yeah, I, I highly suggest, you're gonna have to change this and this and this, but um, it's gonna be over your budget. I very highly suggest that we change this and this as well. I very highly suggest it. I can do it now, I'll cling to your gun, and you can pay me when you've got the money if you want to. I won't charge any extra time, it's just the parts. Very highly recommended. Oh no, no, I wanna get the gun back. No, I really don't gotta spend any money on that. No, 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 no. And what happened? Hi, oh, I did my gun like three months ago, and one of the parts you said that I should probably change it, I didn't broke. Uh, can I send it back to you under warranty? No, you fucking can't, mate! You can send it over to me, and I'll still do. The, I'll still fit the parts, but it won't be free time from me, because I really tried to push you. You know, I did say, ooh, this bit's quite worn. You might want to consider changing this. I really, really think you should. Oh, no, I'd rather not. No. No, that never happened. People are also always very, 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 very happy. Very, very happy to say to you, oh yeah, ignore that one bit then. Until it comes time that bit breaks. <laughs> then you've got the ones who want to leave you hanging for a very long time. Hi, uh, I've just sent you my gun. Can, uh, can we have a conversation of what you're going to do to it, like, right now? Like, can, as soon as you receive the gun, like, can you open it all up and tell me what you've got to do and then put it back together again and then I'll wait for my turn? No. Okay, I'm going to get the box. I'm going to log it. It's going to go on a shelf. When your time comes, when you work your way up the list, it's your time, then we'll discuss everything then. Did you put your details and everything you think you'd like to have done and what your preferences are on a sheet of paper? No, I forgot. Well, guess what? Guess what? <laughs> Send it here in a message on WhatsApp and we'll go from there. Done, right? Okay, well, when you get it, can you open it up and like, no, 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 it's not your turn. Whatever's in that box will stay in that box until I open it, then we'll see. Okay, yeah, I suppose that's fair, yeah, yeah. Then they hassle you. Hi, uh, I've just seen this guy's got the same gun as me. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, oh, you've seen this as well. Oh, this is really good. You've seen this. Uh, this is, um, uh, yeah, um, this is, uh, I know you're trying to get my attention, so I go, do you want to do your gun early? It's like when a child watches you eat something and they go, oh, I really like that. I've had that before. I like that. And you go, oh, yeah, me too. Yeah, and then my mum says I can have that. I'm allowed that. And you go, yeah, I'm allowed it too. What they're trying to do is they think you're going to go, oh, do you want some? It's like hanging around the toys at the shop looking sad in the hope that someone buys you it. Saying things like, oh, I wish I had the money for that. And we'd get that at, in, in airsoft shops. Oh, how much are they? Like they're 120 quid. Oh, I haven't got any money for that. How much is that? Oh, the price is on it. Okay, how much is it? The price is on it. Well, how much is it? 120 quid as well. Oh, I haven't got any money for that. And you go, right, why are you here if you've got no money? I'm oh, just browsing. How much is that? Doesn't matter, you've got no money, mate. Doesn't matter, not in the slightest. You've got no money. Uh, if you can't afford anything, basically, go to that stand where the Springer pistols are. You might be able to afford one of those. Oh, I don't like those. Well, there we go. And they send you messages and they go, oh yeah, um, I just noticed I'm getting quite close to the top of the list. Can we discuss? No, 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 no. Quite close to the top of the list is not the top of the list, is it now? When you're at the top of the list, you'll know, because you'll go to the top of the list. Then it comes time. They've been hassling you, and pestering you, and sending memes, and asking questions, and fucking around. It's their turn. They go through everything they want. You go through everything. You do the job. Everything's finished. Oh, um, can I, like, pay you in instalments? No. No, you can't. Oh, uh, can I, can I pay you when I get the money? I think if you haven't got the money, that's the only way it's going to work, yeah. That, that's how it is going to have to go. Okay, well, uh, my return address is... Ah, don't worry about that, because I ain't sending it back to you paid me. I'm not stupid. 
Oh, I was just there. My mates booked me in for a game. Why is it the mates have always booked me in for a game? Why have they done that? Why have the mates always booked them in for a game? Knowing that I haven't got an airsoft gun. I hear that every other day. Oh, uh, I know I've still got a few weeks to go, but my mates actually just booked me in. Well, that was fucking stupid of him. I reckon he should have asked you first. Just an opinion. Because you ain't got a gun because I've got it. So then you go, you can have you can have it back when you've paid, not before. And they go, okay. And then they make you wait months and months and months and months. And eventually they go, oh, I've got the money. Can I send it over to you? And you go, yep, no problem. Here's the details. Send it over. They send the money. And they go, oh, can I come collect it? Yes, you can. If you want to collect it, you can do that or I can post it. Okay, I'm, I'll come over the weekend. No, I'm afraid I'm away the weekend. What? No, no, because I'm, I'm, I want to go on and collect it on Saturday. My mate's put me in for a game. Oh, he's done that before, hasn't he? Yeah, I remember that from last time. Um, yeah, no, I'm not around. Uh, my wife's around, but I'm not around. Okay, will she give it to me? No. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Alarms on the workshop. No one goes in there. Only me. Sorry. Gotta wait for me. Well, that's not very fair. I'm sorry. It's not very fair. What's not fair? You pay the postage. I can post it out today. You'll get it two days' time. No problem. That's before you intend to come and collect it. Oh, I ain't got any money. Well, you'll have to wait so you can collect it. And that'll be when I'm around. And if I'm not around, you can't collect it. And if this isn't a case of, you know, I've done the job and, you know, I said you could collect it on a certain day very quickly after I completed the job. No, no, that's not what's happened. You haven't paid for months and months and months and months and fucking months and fucking months. And now you think now suddenly because you've paid, I'm going to stop all my plans and be available for you. And I'm not going to be. You can have me next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And you can have me from midday until 5 p.m. Tell me when you're coming the day before, I'll make myself available for you. And I'll run through everything you need to know about your gun with you. Yeah, but um, I want to come for the weekend. Well, guess what, dickhead? You can't. And it's that simple. What about the fucking liars? The liars. I fucking love me a liar because I know what I'm talking about. And if people fucking lie, I will catch you out. Here are legitimate things that have actually happened. This is real. These are real things that have happened. Uh, my son uh, said the gun isn't working properly. Loads of BBs down the barrel and it's all dirty. Well, it's not fit for purpose. Ding, 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 ding. Not fit for purpose. Ding, 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 ding. The buzzword, the tagline, not fit for purpose. Yeah. It's full of dirt. Nothing's fit for purpose when it's full of dirt unless you've bought a pet worm. All right? End the conversation. Well, I'm going to have to leave you a bad review. Go nuts, because I'll respond to it like a wanker. Go for it. No problem to me. It's full of dirt. This is, a, this is a good one. This is really good. Okay, again, legitimately happened. Guy turns up. It, I bought this thing from you. You said it's proper good. I took it out for his first game. I was using it and it just stopped. Just stopped. Just stopped dead like that. Yeah, just stopped. Okay. Charge your battery, all that stuff. Yeah, there's no clicking sounds, no little, little tiny noises from the motor. No, just stopped completely. Right. Okay, well, give me a second, I'll have a look. Well, I want the fucking money back, actually. No, no, if there's nothing wrong with it, it can be repaired. We'll repair it for you. It's under a 12-month warranty, you know, you, you'll get it repaired. No, I want the fucking money back. Don't fuck me around, all right? I'll fucking commit Harry Carry in here. It's not what it's called. I've been up fucking all night thinking about this, all right? I'll tell you what, I'm a bit of a night owl. That's just an owl. Uh, and I've been thinking about this all night. Okay, I've gone through the law. You owe me fucking money back. Well... You're wrong, but let's see what's going on. I go away, I laugh my fucking ass off, and I come back, I show the shop owner, he laughs his fucking ass off, and we sit down. His mates are in the back and they're egging him on. And I go, right, you were using it? Was the range good? Yep, yeah, range was fine. Yep, yeah, you were getting kills with it? Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Everything was working flawlessly, and you were pulling the trigger and it just stopped. Yep, yeah. and you've never taken it apart. Nope. Okay. Fair enough. Took the two screws out of the base plate because I thought maybe one of the motor wires come detached. Two screws out, base plate off, no motor. The motor is missing. And I go, 
there's no motor in it. He's like, well, that's, that's fucking your fault, that is. But it was working, yep. Yeah. No, no, I'm sorry, you've taken it apart. Warranty void. You forgot to put the motor back in after you took it apart. That's what's happened. You weren't in the game zone. That's not what happened. It stopped working. For whatever reason, you took the motor out. Yeah, okay, well, all right, yeah. Okay, let's say I took the motor out. Let's say if, if I did that, right, I must have taken it out because it wasn't working. We'll never fucking know, will we? Because you're a liar. Here's your box. No warranty. Get the fuck out. Bye. Bye, cunt. Bye. See you later, mate. This isn't Amazon. This isn't PayPal claims. None of that shit. This is real life. Not a fucking chance. Not a fucking chance. Had a brilliant one. A brilliant one. Okay. I've got the paperwork here somewhere, but it's got the guy's handwriting on it. I'm not that much of a cunt. I don't do naming and shaming. Uh, the gun doesn't work. Okay. What's wrong with the gun? So I read the paperwork. The gun fires on its own, even when there's no battery connected. The gun fires. Let me get this straight. The gun fires. Electricity makes the motor turn that turns the gears that pulls the piston that is pushed forward by the spring that pushes the BB down a barrel. It does all of that with no battery. Yep, it did it in the middle of the night randomly. It was under my bed and it just started firing with no battery. With no battery. Uh, hello, are you still there? Oh, I'm still here. I'm giving you a moment to reflect on what the fuck you're saying. Seriously. People posting stuff like cunts. I had a box arrive to me. The box arrived with me. It stayed in my um, front entrance way, in my, in my house for a day. It came out to my workshop. It stayed here for a day. I picked the box up. I put it on my bench and it fires a three shot burst across the room over my dog's heads. Now, how the fuck do you think I felt about that? Because you're so dumb that you sent a gun with a battery in, with the gun on burst fire, with the mag in, fully loaded and wound with nothing over the end of the barrel. And you thought that was okay. Imagine that had fucking happened while the delivery driver's driving around and he gets his back of his head put out while he's driving down the motorway. My good friend Richie went to the HL with me. Last year he died in an RTC for no reason. It happens. Delivery drivers, big vehicle, big fucking mayhem. Just saying. So I asked people on my Facebook what they consider to be the most annoying uh, things to happen at airsoft sites, all right? Because it's not just me. It's not just me that gets fucking infuriated. It's other people getting infuriated because believe it or not I'm not the only grumpy cunt out there so we're going to go through I asked the question we're going to go through what people say is the most fucking irritating thing that just needs to stop at airsoft if I agree I'll say it if I don't I fucking won't so in all honesty players that take it too seriously just get stuck in have a laugh take your hits then come back for revenge exactly that Exactly that. Stop treating this like it's a real sport. Stop treating this like it's the military. It's fucking not. You realise you're playing hide and seek with toy guns, right? You are no better than a fucking gel blaster group. Or fucking nerf players. You are... It, it, it's silly sods. You know, you would definitely, if you had the chance, definitely, definitely, go out and play hide and seek right now with all your mates if you could. If you could bunk off work, get all your mates together from work and just go and play hide and seek, you fucking do it. Sites that require you to be a member to get a Yukara or pay. It takes literally five minutes on the phone to add you to the system. Eh, no. And here's why. Site membership schemes. That costs money. Yukara entry on the phone and that's the bit that does fuck me off. I've been waiting seven weeks since putting me on the database. I used to do it. 
you stand there on your phone and go like that, here you go, you're done, next. But site membership, they ain't gonna offer that for free. So don't piss and whinge about that. Site owners padding their buddies on the back, I think he means patting, who just got out of an argument about them cheating in many ways. Blind fire, not hit calling, overshooting massively and saying they'll continue to do so. Best 45 euros I've ever spent. Yeah, favoritism sucks. Airsoft websites that charge six pound plus for delivery on something like a hop-up rubber than rather than using first class envelope raw mail for two quid. Eh, you're wrong, sorry. My postage costs, I charge what? Fucking 2.95 postage I think I charge uh, for a, a box, right? 2.95. That envelope costs me 30p. I've got five pence worth of tape on it, and just with the tracked fucking label on it, the little orange label, that is £3.5 alone. You're already getting money off. And there is no way people are dumb enough to just stick your hot rubber in the post so you can go, didn't turn up, can I have another one? Because they can't prove it. They can't prove it. So no, you're wrong. You're wrong. You know, um, I think £3.50 in postage is perfectly justifiable. If you want it faster, you pay more. From a gameplay perspective, it's unnecessarily complex and arbitrary shoot, no shoot on how to shoot rules. Examples, no RPS over 30, without a clear way of being able to measure this. Eh, it's easy to say, if we think you're being a cunt, you're not playing. Um, they're not wrong. Cannot shoot through something less than a four fist. No, that's not what they say. Uh, we had a no keyholing rule. Uh, it's not what you think it is. That is where you stick something through a hole and shoot at people. Don't do that. It's a cunt move and it could be dangerous to somebody on the other side. Yeah. You, if somebody is all the fucking way over there, that's absolutely fine. That's no problem. If their face is sticking through that hole that's only an A4 sheet, then, you know, that, that's probably where they're going to get shot because the only bit of the body they are presenting, all right? You do not put your hand through a small hole because it's dangerous and it's, it's unfair tactics, all right? You've got to have a line in the sand. You've got to have right and wrong. You've got to have the rules. That's the rule, all right? Riot shielding as well, standing behind glass and putting your gun around. You don't do it, because although you can see, it's a cunt move, you just don't do it. And the, the rate of fire thing, how do they measure it? It really is just, I think you're being a cunt. People who think just because it's a game, that safety isn't important, i.e. dry firing in a safe zone. I bought this mask off Timu, I'm gonna blind fire because it's what they do in the movies. Uh, let's repel out of this third story window. Let me fucking tell you, all right? This is a legitimate thing uh, that happened. I've still got the emails, all right? This guy had a fucking tantrum because when he was told to clear his gun, he went, this is my safety. And we said, ha 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 ha, we've seen that film as well. You're an idiot. Mag out, fire a few shots, put it on safe, go in the safe zone. We don't demand people's guns are on safe, but every single... Every single gun must be cleared. And every time you get those fucking guys in the safe zone, um, their super duper gun is broke down again. Because every time they play your sight, it breaks down twice a fucking day. And these people are sitting there with just the lower and the gearbox. We know it's not going to hurt anybody. We know that. But every time any sight marshal with any kind of thought process on health and safety hears the sound of something firing, they're running into that room or into that part of the safe zone area. They're going to do that because they can hear firing. And if you're doing it all the time, we can't tell if somebody else is being a cunt and dry firing their gun in the safe zone. So just don't do it or we're going to keep hassling you. And the other thing is, if your AEG has got his mag out, that's all great. No problem at all. If you've got a big drum mag on it, unplug your battery, all right? It's just easier. Don't whinge. Just unplug your battery. The other thing is the people who've got their pistol in their holster and they are saying, yeah, no, I don't need to, uh, I don't need to demag it, it's in a holster. Well, good for fucking you. Take your mag out, these are the rules. Because these are not steel seared 1911s, these are shitty gas guns. It's highly likely you've got one in the chamber, your slide is forward, your mag is gassed, and it is in, and if you lean forward and you press on your hammer, you could just break through the sear by mistake, because you're a big idiot, and you're gonna blow a BB off the floor and up into the fucking sky, all right? that's someone's face, take your fucking mags out. But this one guy was having such a fucking paddy, such a tantrum, because he was told to dry fire his gun, make sure it shows his empty. And he said, I can't dry fire it, it's built, it's, it's PTW, I can't, I can't dry fire it, it's not allowed. It's like, leave it in the game zone at your own risk. No, someone to steal it. Unplug your battery. No, fuck off home then. 
Show us the gun is clear. Show us it's safe. That's the end of the conversation. If you've got a real problem with that, unplug the battery. If you're not even willing to do that, well, guess what? You're a knobhead. This guy then pointed his gun directly up in the air and fired it into the ceiling where it was still loaded. And we're talking a ceiling probably eight foot off the ground. And it's gone barrel concrete straight back down uh, and sculled the marshal. And he couldn't understand why he got bollocked at. Then he went on to fucking zero in, I think it was, uh, one of the old forums, and he cunted out the site completely. And it's like, you absolute shit. You know, oh, they don't run the games very well. That's another thing. People who say you didn't run it very well. I had these two guys, they'd attend probably once every couple of months. They'd travel over from Germany, they'd come to the site, and they were lovely. Father and son. Father, lovely. The son was lovely as well. He had no idea about personal space. And he would get right in your fucking face while he's talking to you. And you could be drinking a hot drink. You could be in the shop. And he would just walk into the shop area and talk to you with his face. And I'm not kidding. This close to you. You'd be talking to another player who's got a problem with their gun, asking about a rule, just engaging. And he'd just get in between you and go, I've got a question about this. And after years of this, I finally had enough. And when he got really close to me, I very gently put my hand in between his face and mine. I stepped backwards while moving my hand very slowly towards his, making him lean backwards and step away. And I said, will you wait your turn? You're rude. I don't like it. I don't like my personal space being invaded. I don't like being touched. And I don't like it. You're rude and I don't like it. You will wait. If you've got any other queries, don't come to me. Go to somebody else. And if they have a problem with you getting real close to their face or just interrupting whatever they're doing, they're going to tell you to wait and go back of the queue. At the end of the night, he told us, we are not going to be coming back here because you don't run this very well. No, that's not the problem because you travel all the way from a foreign country to play at our site. The problem is you got told. We'd had enough. Real nice guy, both of them. But enough is enough. Wait your turn. Be polite. Don't be rude. But definitely don't complain about that site and claim it's not well run because you've been put in your place for your behaviour. That is not the worst thing you can do on an airsoft site. Far from it. But... When somebody's doing that, every five minutes, no matter what you're doing, they're knocking the door if you're having a shit to ask you questions, and I'm not fucking kidding. It's not on. But they'll go online and say it's not very well run. People wearing camouflage. That's very funny. Um, night games. When people don't know how to use a damn torch, I'm going to say fuck the rules, as I have another. All sites are far... Doesn't make any sense. Night games, people don't know how to use a torch. Yeah, okay. He's shining his torch at me. Yeah, that's what it's for. Do you know what's really annoying? When you shine your torch over your uh, team's head at the enemy when they're trying to fucking sneak around. That annoys people, don't do that. Don't complain when your torch gets shot out because it's the only thing people can see. How many, how many times have you seen people get the torch and put it on the floor as a distraction to light up a room when they can see someone's coming as a distraction and then when their torch gets shot... They go, oh, you do that deliberately? Yes, they fucking did. You put a torch on the floor, they think you're laying down. And even if they did do it deliberately, they've got a perfectly good excuse. Oh, I didn't know that was only a torch. They knew full fucking well, probably, but guess what? You can't prove it. Don't be a knobhead. You shot out my new scope? Well, that's entirely your fault. The scope's not fit for purpose. Eh, it got shot out. Real life, your fucking torch or your scope gets shot out. Right? You're either happy because you're alive, or B, you don't care because you've had your face behind it and your brains are all up the fucking wall. Stop whinging. Sites and sites stall not caring about feedback or even asking for feedback and how things are running. <laughs> oh, hmm. Uh, and what can be changed or suggestions on how it can be improved? Just rolling with the same game modes week in, week out. Okay, same game modes. Yep. Vary it as much as you can. 
Sometimes you've got to do a couple of the same few games because you have to understand that airsoft is like most people in any hobby are thick as pig shit and you've got to repeat yourself a little bit and sometimes you'll have to do the same game mode. I think uh, the mall and so forth, I had, I had, oh we had probably 30 different games and you'd get one wanker go, oh yeah, all the games are the same and you go, explain how the games are all the same. Well it's either just you know, defending and moving personalities or special players around, or it's like uh, defending or attacking an objective, or it's like a seek and search mission where you've got to find an objective or a person, and it's like, right, now you tell me any other fucking game apart from those things. Tell me any other game. The chocolate wasn't very good. They only had white or regular or dark. Fuck off. <laughs> what do you want? Hang on a second, I'll get my miracle chocolate out, you fat prick. People are getting pissy about headshots. You're here to shoot people and get shot at by people. If you don't like getting shot in the head, you have two options. One, cover your head with safety gear. Absolutely correct. Two, go play laser tag. No. And here's why. You are clearly not a site operator. You haven't read through all the insurance crap that you've got to do in order to be insured. And did you know that a lot of insurers specify that no one is allowed to be deliberately shot in the head? So within my insurance, I would have to tell people, if you've got an entire body on display, you shoot the entire body. If the only thing on display is a head and a face and a pistol coming around the corner, you're going to get shot in the face because that's the nature of the beast. You can't just put your head around because no one would be able to shoot past anything. It'd be a wall of heads. It'd be like a totem pole of smelly pricks. You can't have that at each side of the doorway and expect no one to shoot. So we do say you deliberately don't shoot people in the face if your whole body's on display. That is common sense, it's good practice, and it's called being polite and respectful to people around you. Yes, wear the correct PPE, but if you are going out there and shooting at people deliberately in the face, it's because you're a cunt, and that's the end of it. There is nothing else to say. Yeah, you will, yeah. The people who whinge, the people who fucking cry on, oh, it's easy for you, know, it's, yeah, you not got to expect to be shot in the face, you know. they are the first people to get RC and start overkilling as a dead player when they get shot in the face. I promise you, because I've seen it week in, week out for fucking 25 plus years, all right? So shut up. But yes, wear the correct PPE so that it limits injury, of course. People who take up way too much bench space in the safe zone, that one guy who turns up with like a fucking rifle case the size of your fucking car, puts it on a six person table and starts to lay everything out. And then they get upset when they get asked to move their stuff because there's other people who want to sit down. I used to have people and they'd be sitting on the floor outside the toilets and you cunts can't use toilets properly. And they'd be sitting on the floor outside the toilets because one fucking mummy's boy is sat there feeling all special. He's got all his kit laid out. Yeah, no. You can sit on the floor in front of the toilet and the four lads who are together sat in front of the toilet can have your fucking table. Absolutely right. My site has a 500 FPS DMR limit, so every stubby M4 HPA wanker classes themselves as a DMR. What's the point? What's the point of having bolt action at that point? Yep, agreed. Absolutely agreed. Absolutely agreed. I'm not saying you can't have a regular M4 with a big old scope on it as a DMR. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is some little shit with a fucking ARP9 that's been fucking HPA'd can't suddenly go, I want to use high power, so I'm a DMR. Fuck you. No, there has to be a line. There had to be a line. I even argued a little bit, politely argue between employee and boss with one of the guys who used to work for me because he was like, you can't just have people going, well, it's a DMR as long as it's locked to semi because it's high power. And I've gone, eh, we don't want to limit the people coming on site because they can't use a DMR. And then him going, it's not a DMR. And then him showing me conversations with people really getting shitty because they can't use their 450 FPS fucking revolver as a DMR just because they want to use it. It's a fucking wind gun with no hop up. And at that point I went, yep, absolutely fair. Fuck it. It has to at least look something, resemble a DMR, it has to. Little M4 or MP5, fuck off. Absolutely right. Players that have just played Call of Duty but think they know all the tactics and try telling everyone they're doing the rock. God, this is terrible spelling. <laughs> and try telling everyone they're, spelt wrong, doing it wrong without a W, missing a space, got all the, ga got all the gear, no idea, and not taking hit. I think he means hits, but yeah, you know, if you only get hit once, sure it's hit. 
For so set fucking out. For so ex servicemen, we only do play for fun and to keep our skill on point. Our spelt wrong. Airsoft is nothing like the military. There is no such thing as a PTW. No military contractor has ever specified that this company of Airsoft is going to make our train. Never happened, never happened. I can tell you that um, uh, military police, uh, the London Met, Thames Valley Police, they have used Airsoft guns in their, in their training. And they've used Airsoft guns against people with fucking full on blank fire, simunition, everything. But they've used their soft guns, gas blowbacks, just as a little change in the way they do it. There's no, there's, there's no one who uses airsoft guns only, and this is what we use. Thanks, KWA, for your PTP. No, it, that, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen, I promise you. But yes, the police and the military do use airsoft guns in training. It requires no skill to play airsoft, you realise that. All those people bunched up behind doors, and they've been in the military, and they're in the military, and they've got their whole squad with them, and they're all doing it military tactic-wise. Fair play. Fair play. I'm the guy that will run out in front of you and I don't care if I get shot dual wielding pistols, I don't care. Because I'll be back alive again in a few seconds and your tactics mean fuck all. Sorry, I'll probably miss most of you. I'll definitely get one of you with two pistols, I promise. Your tactics mean nothing when the person who's gonna be shooting at you has no concern for their own safety because even if they die, they back alive again. Doesn't work that way. Whinging of any kind, you're in the wrong fucking place, mate. <laughs> whinging of any kind. You're not fucking seen my channel. Like you must have, you're on my fucking Facebook. What the fuck? Jesus, wow, what a, wow. This is more when I'm marshalling, but to a sheer amount of times, I've had people storm over to me and have a go at me for not dealing with people not calling hits, only for me to find out their mag is either empty or the high cap hasn't been wild enough to shoot. Also, people who bitch and moan about the rentals, despite rentals usually being the most enthusiastic and first to get stuck in. Tom. 100 fucking percent, you are absolutely right in everything you have just said. I cannot quibble it or query it. Rental players are shit. No, you've got an HPA gun and you're a prick, all right? You've got all the gear, no idea, super duper marksman, bolt action rifle, gilly wanker. The rental players are here to have fun and try something new, have a bit of a giggle. You're here because you think you're a badass. Shut up. Guns with a very high repeatable rate of fire, which the point of banning for, yeah. What's the point of banning? Full auto when some speed softer with zero trigger sensitivity that can squeeze in another postcode and it will go off so fast it's quicker than most guns on full auto. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Again, this dude just play at one of my sites. He gets it, you know? Know him very well. He gets it. He understands. If you've got a gun that you can put two fingers in and paddle it, honestly, if I ran an airsoft site now, if I went back to earning airsoft sites, I'd have a rule. And the rule is, everyone show me your index finger. If you've got an index finger on your dominant hand, who's right-handed, put your right hand up. Do you have an index finger? Yes, you do, show it to me. That's the only fucking finger that's going on your trigger. And the webbing between your thumb and your index finger. If you have a thumb and an index finger and you have that webbing, show it to me, cool. I want that pressed on the back of your fucking pistol grip at all times. That's how you're gonna fire the gun. If you're gonna fucking put your middle finger in there and feather it in, oh, it's a bit more accurate, you'll find real steel shooters, shut the fuck up, you're trying to break the game. It's just that simple. You've got your arm all the fucking way out and you're feathering it with two fingers as fast as you can because we have said no full auto, semi only, and you found a way to flout the rules. Another good reason why I don't like the HPA style of play that a lot of HPA users adopt. I understand there's HPA fucking bolt action rifles, I get it, all right? But when you've got one of these guns where you are literally paintballing, piss off. No one likes you apart from you. Your family wish you were dead. My lad who insists we play as a team this time around and stick together. Then as soon as the game on is yelled, he sprints full pelt off on his own and leaves me ambling behind like a crippled snail. I'm getting old. I can't run that fast, if at all. 15 years ago, I might have agreed with you, but yeah, I, yeah that would piss me off as well. Yeah. Shoot me in the back of the head. Call him out for non-hit taking. Uh, armchair generals who won't push forward but will tell you and others to push forward. Yep. Yep. 
And I don't even have to describe these people because you all know exactly what they look like and what kind of food is stuck in their beard. The My Gun's got the best range and consistency wankers that seem to think they are not firing plastic pellets through a bush or firing across an open field on a windy day and then claiming you are not taking your hits. Yep, 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 yep. As someone who's worked at an airsoft site that had fucking mirrors, yeah. Screaming and shouting, the guy over there's not taking his hit and he's fucking shooting in a mirror. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Every day. Every event. We know. We just watch, you know. I'm shooting through that bush. Did you see the BBs bounce off of him? I couldn't. There's a bush in the way. Shut up. Airsofters. Yep. Yep. Mr. Bomb Sausage says airsofters. Yep. That, that is the problem. And you'll all agree, in any job that you guys do, and most of you um, have got jobs, anyone who comes into your place of work as a customer is a pain in the ass. And your job would be so much better if they weren't there. And that goes for your co-workers as well. Yes. Airsofters really are the problem with airsoft. Different sites having different FPS limits for AEG, HPA, DMR, and sniper rifles. Uh, depends on the site. I don't think we need to cap 0.25 for CQB. I don't think it's required because, again, people are learning. They're moving along. They understand how things work now. I don't think we need to limit the weight for CQB. Just have, if you've got a CQB site, just make it like my um, Z Mart was, I, I moved it to 0.32 max, but them all um, at Battle Lakes, it was whatever is coming out of your gun is fine. That's the end of it. Um, now it's different. Now people are building their guns differently. Everything is different. Everything has changed, you know? So now, yeah, okay, I get it. But um, if, you're, if your power limit is like 1.14 joule as a max, it really doesn't matter what weight ammo that person's using as long as you're chronoing correctly, which you're probably not. But um, having a different power limit for someone who's got an HPA rifle to someone who's got the exact same rifle doing the exact same power, but his is AEG or gas blowback, if you've got a different power because they've got HPA, as much as I, I bitch on about the HPA people, don't you think that's pushing it? I think that's pushing it. Uh, you've got that HPA gun, you've got to be a lower power. Nah. Now, I'd be reducing the amount of times they can pull the trigger. You know, I'd rather get shot once, maybe twice, with a heavyweight BB from an HPA gun than get shot 40 times as a dead player with someone firing .25s. I really would. If we normalised it, I don't think that, you know, if it's a 9mm gun, it should be this power. I don't think that's accurate. I think it's correct. That takes the fun away. Blah, 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 blah. But I think it would be helpful that um, the DMR role in the UK was higher. I think the power should be higher in the UK uh, than we normally it's 1.88. Some sites are 1.4 for DMR. There's no point, absolutely no point. If you've got 2.3 joule DMR, that that's kind of where it should be. Bolt action rifles, yes, I think you should be allowed to have more power, but I also think that your effective distance, uh, your your minimum engagement, that that should be uh, increased. I think three joules is a lot better for a bolt action rifle. Uh, and I think it should be more akin to having maybe, you know, 40 meters of minimum engagement. You know, I think you're going to get a lot more fun out of it. That's... It helps. I think it'll really, really achieve a lot more in gameplay. I'm just saying. Spawn campers, you argue with the marshals when told to sod off. Yep. Yep. The guy who hides in his bush and he points his gun towards the fucking spawn and then puts up all the videos on the internet. You know, if you, if you play like that, if that's your way of playing, is racking up kills, why are you ruining other people's fun? I mean, how small does your penis have to be? No, don't do that. That's, that's... So many people do it. It's not on. It's not on. Any airsofter who thinks he's the best there ever is. Yep. Well, that's most of them. But yeah, the vast majority of sites starting at 8 a.m. on a Sunday. I'm pretty sure this goes against the Geneva Convention. Can't it be like 10 a.m. so I can get half a fucking lay in or get to a site further away without leaving at 5 a.m.? I toileth not on ye Sabbath. Yeah, it does make sense, doesn't it? On a Sunday, okay, right, yeah. Um, people want to get home and see their families. They don't really, they're at airsoft because they hate their families. Um, they don't want to see them, that's why they are there. Um, that is why we, uh, when I was running Zedmar, owning Zedmar, uh, we decided Saturdays would be a midday start and finishing later uh, than a Sunday, but a slightly shorter day as well, just so you can still go see your mates at the end of the day. You don't gotta get out of bed really fucking early on a Saturday. Uh, it just makes sense. Perhaps one day a month, have it run more into the evening uh, or have a shorter day. Charge the same money, just have a shorter day. Everyone gets there two hours later, you know, 
knock a fucking fiver off the price. Just just once. I, it'll work, I promise you. It'll work. Player marshals, you play god mode. Yep. One thing that I don't like is when a site has a marshal who's got a tester gun on them. And what they do is they step into the game with their high vis on and shoot somebody in the back to see if they're taking their hits. If they are taking their hits, they keep them in the game. Don't do that. You don't need to do that. What you do is use your intelligence, your eyes, your ears. You monitor, you watch, rather than playing with your fucking phone looking at TikTok. Pay attention. There is nothing worse, you know? Are they gonna put you back and you've got in a sneaky position? People are saying, oh, I shot that guy, I've definitely shot that guy. The only guy you can see in that area has been lying there for fucking 25 minutes. He's done nothing, he's worked hard to crawl for a quarter of a mile or whatever to get to that position, and you go shoot him in the back of the head and make him stand up and put him back down again? What a twat, don't do that. Use some common sense instead, surely. I don't like testing people with guns. You don't do it, it's wrong. It fucks up the game. Anyone who'd rather sit there arguing with players than speaking to the site staff, annoying. Yes. <laughs> Tell the staff. If the staff don't deal with the problem, play somewhere else because they're not doing their jobs. Who saw that video the other day of um, the guy making videos for TikTok or whatever the fuck it was, watching people in slow motion and fancy filters walking back into the safe zone. And they've all got mags in. They're all taking their eye pro off. Oh, the fuck, why, why is there a staff member on the door at that point? What's the fucking point? Why are you there? Jesus Christ. Players that congratulate and chat in the spawn dragging your, oh. Players who congregate and chat in the spawn dragging your team down. Mate. That, that's me to a T. I, I might I might fancy having a chat. I might not want to go fucking storming back out there. I'm old, all right? People are there for a social. They don't care, you know? Do better. <laughs> Fuck these guys. If they're, if they're willing to do that, they're not helping your team anyway. So, you know, you do better. Whinging cheat calling. Yep. Yep. Whinging cheat calling drives me mental. Oh, Christ. The people who pull the trigger and they're literally... Pull the trigger. Oh, come on, mate. Pull the trigger, oh, come on, mate. And you go, your BB has barely left your barrel. There's no way. And also, give someone a chance to put their hand up. If you shoot me in the fucking face, or you shoot me in the back, especially the back of the legs, I hate that, I can take fingernail shots like a beast because I'm so used to it. But you shoot me in the back of the legs, I'm not gonna put my hand up and shout hit. I'm gonna go, ah, and freeze with my asshole sucking my buttocks in for about five seconds, because that's the kind of pain I can't bear. And you're not gonna get a hand and a shout at me straight away because I'm screaming in absolute silence because I don't like the pain. And then you go, oh, come on, mate, take your fucking hits, and you shoot them some more. No, some people don't have that response. I'm real good at my hit taking, you know? You shoot me in the back of the legs, my hands are not going up, they're going down to grab my ass so I can go, ah, because it fucking hurts. Give people a moment, for Christ's sake. The speed softers that finger bang their piece of shit gun at brand new rentals. We've already covered that. No one likes you. Bang, bang rules. Yeah, that's bollocks. I put my gun around and said bang, bang. Good for fucking you. <laughs> um, pretty sure, you know, blow them up, shoot them, stab them. That's it. Large 100 plus players games where 60% are snipers and there was way too much cover. Yep. There was a game where I handed out everyone a plastic spoon. I went out and bought 100 plastic spoons. For anyone who didn't have a little tiny stabby uh, LARP weapon and he didn't have one, I gave him a plastic spoon, right? And for the first five minutes of the game, it was pyros and knives only. And you could walk around, you could ignore the enemy players, you can whatever. The second anyone fires a shot from an airsoft gun, every marshal and every player on site, if they hear it, they have to shout, open fire, open fire, open fire. Because people are very nervous and it makes the game proper fun. If you put little bits in that, people remember that. They don't remember that cool bomb game you did. They do remember that time when they ha there were just people having knife fights everywhere. And the time one of my regular players accidentally broke the nose of this six and a half foot tall South African dude. Oh my God. You know, it, it's, it's a t-shirt area only. This guy is probably five foot eight. And the guy who he was trying to t-shirt with, with a, a larpy rubber knife was six and a half foot tall. So as he went up and the big guy came down, he broke his fucking nose and I got it right on video. 
Uh, wow, weapons down instantly, get the guy out of there, make sure you're okay. And the guy did it, he was so upset. He was so, he, that was not his intention. Um, but this is what happens when you got LARPy rules, you know? Um, again, this is why rules are in place. This is why there are rules. A guy got his nose broken because he was trying to touch another guy with a plastic spoon. Um, ugh, no one expected that, but the guy was like, hey, this is airsoft, don't worry about it. He put his nose back in place and uh, just with his son could carry on playing, he basically tried to play the next game and went, I've got to go to the hospital. Um, it, was, it was fun. Have, have a game that is, you know, no, no snipers in this one. And how much do fucking bolt action rifle users fucking whinge? Oh God, if the game is not, spe oh, this is not a very good game. This isn't fair uh, because I'm being put in a location where I can't just have a free shot at everybody. Yeah, how about that? It's just like in real life, huh? Perhaps you won't always be put in the correct position. You know, why don't you get a regular site that puts up your antics? Have a game that, spe that caters for everybody. Put something fun in there, you know? I agree, hate juggernauts was playing an awesome Star Wars game. Oh. Such thing as an awesome Star Wars airsoft game. I'm just saying what there is is far too much BO and virginity. That's what's going on there. How much Lego can you talk about? How much do you smell of Games Workshop paint? Um, the admins came in. Admins. Admins. Staff. Staff came in dressed like juggernauts and blew my entire team away. We didn't bother shooting them. Um, okay. We used to do a Terminator game. I hated it. I hated it because everyone's like, we have a Terminator game. We have a Terminator game where you've got someone dressed like a Terminator, great big fucking huge gun, custom built thing. And um, they would deliberately run up to the Terminator, shoot him to try and get a reaction and run away, right? Terminator turn around, shoot them in the back. And the people who want that game are always the people, oh, it's not fair, he shot me too much. Fuck off, dude. This is what you wanted. You asked for this. I hated the Terminator games. I was so happy when I got to retire that and do something entirely different. I was so pleased. Which is why we did Amy Winehouse versus Jay Goody. Uh, bam, 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 bam. What else do you say? Uh, you hit the sensor plate on their chest and since they got their arms up aiming weapons, it was impossible. It was a pretty good weekend other than that. I don't like Juggernaut games and I don't like Riot Shields. I don't like them. I don't, don't think it's fun. So I'm with you. Inconsistent rules or rules applied differently to each team. Of course, that's bollocks. Pussy losers complaining about headshots. HPA speed soft thinking. They are evolving the sport when paintball have used it and become stagnant. You are 50-50, completely right and completely wrong. See which one you think uh, I think is right and wrong there. HPA users, agreed. HPA wankers, agreed. Uh, Staff playing favourites with their dirtbag buddies. Yep, I've seen it and I don't like it. If you've got people playing on your site, you treat everyone the same, everyone gets treated with respect, and you treat everyone with the same set of rules. Not, well, he's all right. There was a guy who used to come to our site all the time and he'd bring uh, all his mates with him. He bought all his mates PTWs, and for some reason, because he brought so many people to the site, uh, one member of staff was, was a little bit soft with him, and in the end, I had a fucking tantrum. I was not running the site at all at that point. Um, I was just working there, but I had a fucking tantrum because it's not right. It's not right. And I made sure that guy never came back again. Yet all his mates did. That guy ended up getting banned from every single airsoft site uh, for blowing something up in the game zone one day and getting the site shut down. On one of my sites, we had a ref shoot of people that were too good and once shot me in the back of the neck whenever I was about to have the sickest flank ever. Totally ruined the game for several people. Ref saying you're lying about BB weights and having new players play against regulars. Yeah, okay. So uh, if, if you're doing too well and one of the staff shoots you to take you out of the game, no, bullshit. And again, goes back to what I was saying. No, wrong. Ref saying you're lying about the BB weight You've no idea how frequently people lie about their BB. I'm really sorry, I must have picked up the wrong mag. You guys are work at airsoft sites where you say, can I test the weight of your BBs, mate? Because you said you're using two fives. Oh, I am. You take the BBs out of their mag and they're three twos. Oh, I must have picked up the wrong mag. Really? Must you have done that? Is that what happened? No one believes you, all right? No one believes you. So you're not gonna get me on that one. Having new players play against regulars. Um, yeah, you're best off pairing them together. The new players to site, if they are brand new to Airsoft, then yeah, you put, you, you put them with people who are going to be site regulars and also like veteran Airsofters you may or may not have seen before. You know, you split people equally because it's fair. It's a game. 
make it fair. Marshalls wear big reflective rainbow safety sunglasses all the time. Won't comment on that, because uh, Fonzie and his pit vipers. Worst thing about airsoft, terminators. Yep, just said it. Sites turning a blind eye to their own marshals breaking the rules while playing. Yep, and I've seen it before myself, and I've jumped on that shit fucking hard when I've seen it, and that's been a member of my staff. Saw it happen and went, oh, rolled his eyes, looked at me and went, oh, I don't know, and didn't say anything. It's like, no, you go pull him out of the game. No fucking way is that happening. No way. And then both of you, my office. Players getting pissed about missing one kill in a game of soldiers because they hit a guy's helmet or plate and they genuinely didn't feel it. Ugh, keep your ears open. If you don't know if you're hit, you're definitely hit. If you're unsure if you're hit, you're definitely hit. You have to question it in your mind. Was that a hit? Was that a ricochet? You're hit. You put your hand up. That's the end of it. If you're unsure, you're hit. However, if someone's wearing a fucking massive ghillie hat or something, uh, they, they may not know. But at that point, this is when you tell people you can't tell. And I've had people pissed at me for this. People are accusing you of cheating and they've been doing it all day. I am 100% sure it's because of what you're wearing. Can you take a lot of that webbing off? And they go, yeah, sure, no problem. Or they go, no, it's my gear. Okay, let me put it this way. If now we've had this conversation, you decide not to take your kit off and people are still shooting you on your padding and you can't feel it and any of my staff catches you, you're off site. Or are you going to voluntarily take it off? The 10 minutes between rounds that last 30 minutes. Nothing the staff can do about that because the briefing is about to fucking happen. We start to tell people the game rules and someone's forgot a glove and has to go downstairs. Those motherfuckers need briefing separately during the game. They, they waste everyone else's time, it's not on. People who empty entire mags into bushes and trees between games for absolutely no reason, such a waste of BBs. Fuck off, Greta. People who wear nods, I'm gonna have to say it, um, is that because you can't afford them? Sorry, um, sorry. I really am sorry. Uh, you might even own nods, but when you say shit like that, that's what people think. People who don't pee ID targets before letting loose. I'm going to assume they mean uh, people who just shoot at anything that moves. They're called speed softers. Um, people who just shoot anything that's in front of them. I've made that mistake. Not everyone's 2020 vision. I'm certainly not. And yeah, I, I have had somebody walk out in front of me and I've clocked them right in the fucking chest and they're out the game. But you know what you do? You go, sorry, mate, you stay there. I'll take myself out the game and I'll go to regen. You're honorable about it. I think that's fair, personally. Dead men who start chatting away on their radio. Oh, those motherfuckers can get in the bin. I hate that. You know, no one knows. If you get on your radio, you might be saying, um, oh, hang on a second, I can't talk to you right now. Or you could be saying, the guy's wearing this and he's hiding here. No one knows. So they're going to assume you're being a wanker. So just don't do it. Don't say anything on your radio. Don't say anything at all. Dead man walking, dead man coming through. End of. Who would think their kit is better than anyone else's? We get it. You spent £400 on the plate carrier. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> I don't wear... I, I own one sling and two holsters. And I've got, what, 450 different fucking guns? I don't wear any gear. If I'm if I'm using a pistol and I've got a spare mag in my hand, one in my pocket and my pistol, and I might have a dump pouch to put stuff in, but that that is a rarity. That's a fucking rarity. When someone comes to me with a gun that doesn't work after they just spent a fortune getting it fully upgraded, it infuriates me with all the bollocks they get shoved in players' faces about what's needed and when they just cram it in and fuck it all up. Yeah, you've seen my channel. People who show up maybe three times a year complain about loosening when they play people are out of every weekend and say it's unfair advantage or some other bullshit. Okay, right. People who don't play frequently and say the players who do play frequently have got better at it, um, they complain. Yeah, that's annoying, but I've got to say I've never seen that. I first did Airsoft 10 years back and had an experience so bad I refused to play until I got back into it recently. Yep, I see that all the time. Yep. Don't be the person that causes that. You're only hurting the sport. It's not a sport. Ghillie snipers who think they're invisible and never take their hits so they have too many thick layers on. Yep, they're called ghillie snipers. Won't name the site, but favouritism by the refs towards their official site team. Oh, don't. S fucking site teams. Piss me off. Piss me off. HPA, I've seen a guy in the 1911 M4 mag stuck in the bottom of the pistol and an air hose running to his dive tank in his back. Seriously, fuck off and play paintball again. My thoughts entirely. Wanker guns and overshooting. My thoughts entirely. 
regular players everybody just go after rentals yep i agree um they are easy targets they do tend to get kind of in the way um but that's when you help them if they're on the enemy team you're not going to not shoot them though are you six of one people who only wear specs and get mad when they get face blasted um i've seen your mother in some of those videos but yes if you get shot in the face you're not wearing a full face protection or a mesh around your mouth or something yeah i understand um kind of your own fault sites who don't tournament lock or put some sort of non-tampering device on hba regulators <laughs> yeah i've got a site name here that doesn't chrono anything ever it's honestly based chrono i'll let that sink in people who don't use hpa well um that, that's why they're called people, because people who do use HPA generally are not people. Poor timekeeping. Yeah, just been through that one. Exactly the same thing. You're wasting people's time. Be on time or fucking don't. When the marshals call everyone for the game brief, exactly the same thing again. When people go to clear their gun, be it rental or regular, and they just full auto blast for five seconds. Yeah, that's annoying. Ah, the mag out. Stop it. Fuck off. Get inside the safe zone. People overshoot to fuck. Yep, no one likes it, but we know who's doing it. People are moaning when they keep getting hit. Yep, that's real. Oh, he shot me. Well, how about that? <laughs> Fucking hell. Mile long chrono queues that are full of people that don't look after their shit who then try to fix it at the chrono station. Yeah, fuck off back to your table. If you're still not fixed and the main brief happens, go to the main brief and sit out some of the game. All right, then you waste your own time. Don't fucking clog things up. Yeah. Go to the safe zone every 30 minutes. Go to, go to the safe zone after every 30 minute game for a 10, 15 minutes of reload. I pay to shoot people in a game environment, not to stand around. <laughs> yep. Non hit takers, obviously. True story, head marshal is making sure everyone gets the game and sight rules understood with a bit of tough love, and some bloke who can't take a bit of colourful language their way decides to create a Karen esque drama about it. Yep. What about the people who stand in the fucking briefing area and they're nattering and talking? Stuff, stop briefing. Or the people who uh, stand in. The... It's always high rate of fire DSG, guys. Have you seen this? They look at something that's gonna make a noise. The brief is on. They're clearly not paying attention to what the game brief, the uh, the health and safety, none of that, they don't care. They're not listening because they're looking for things they can shoot at because they're doing 45 rounds a second. And they'll fire a burst during the briefing. Those motherfuckers can sit out and I'll brief you later. Excessive macho aggro. We're playing a game with toy guns, shooting our balls at other people. Statistically, mostly men. There is absolutely no reason to get fighting with another person. Completely understood. There are people who I have ejected from my site and let other sites know this person is dangerous. This person is a fucking liability. This person is not someone who I think is a bad air softer. I don't think they are having a bad day. I think this person is legitimately a bad, dangerous person. And you've all seen one and yeah there was one guy who got in my face so hard demanding and he was screaming in my face from a centimeter away i was leaning backwards with my hands across my chest with a radio in my hand broadcasting it so people could hear that shit was going down in the safe zone after he was pulled out the game he was screaming in my face threats because i wouldn't let him go and apologize to one of the members of staff who he, after being told you are out of the game, your behavior is abhorrent, you are out of the game, clear your gun and go in the safe zone. To clear it, he pointed it in a member of staff's face and pulled the trigger. And I wouldn't let him speak to that member of staff to apologize. So he got so close to my face that I honestly thought I was gonna have to bite him. I thought if it, this guy was big, huge guy and the only thing that went through my head is, any second now, I can't fight back. I'm leaning backwards. My hands are across my chest. I can't, I'm leaning over. I can't go anywhere. If this shit goes down, I'm going to have to bite him. And because of his behavior, for the first hour of that day, there was absolutely no way I could think of anything else. Because we have fucking thugs in our, in our pastime as well. And it's scary. It's fucking scary. If that guy wanted to pick me up and throw me around, he'd been absolutely able to do so. And 
There's no one else to be able to stop him. No single person. Fucking terrifying. That's real. That happened. The fuck boys, they get a tier next gen on finance, then bash the paws for not owning one. Yes. Yes. People work in their jobs. They've got a lot of bills to pay. They might have kids, they might not. They might have made poor life choices. They may not have. Regardless, they have saved all their money that they can spare to buy themselves a fucking Spetner Arms or a Newt Prol or whatever. And then you run in there and treat them like they're nothing because you bought an underpowered, finicky, fussy, well overpriced TM recoil and you did it on finance? What a cunt you are. That's why they couldn't afford it now. They might have got stuff on finance before. I hope you're in that fucking situation later on. Absolutely agreed. Speed softers who really ought to just fuck off and play paintball. Well, that's all of them. Players that have a fuck ton of cameras all over their gear to catch every angle of them doing fuck all, then making videos of people cheating for clicks. Yep! Yep! You are not there because you want to have fun playing airsoft. You are there so you get given free shit and make money on YouTube. That's why you're there. You are not a real airsofter. Guys turning up and swaggering around at the special forces and waltzing it big time. Just fuck off. Yep. Yep. Oh, you know what? I, I had God. I've heard this so many times. Oh, of course, when I was serving, turns out all he was serving was fucking fries at McDonald's. Uh, yeah, well, what, you know, when I was in, in, legitimately turns out he was in the fucking Sea Scouts when he was in. People saying tactical reload. I don't see the problem, but if, if you're, <laughs> if someone is around a corner and they go mag out, that is the time to run around there and fucking dual wield at them. That's the time. That's the time. All right. But if you're around a corner, keep your weapon up, keep pointing it forward and then shout, changing mag. And as soon as someone comes around that corner, pull the fucking trigger because they are not expecting it. Screaming gears. Dude, dude, stop. I'll adjust it for you. But I'm not on your team. You might be next week. <laughs> That's a good anecdote. I like that. <laughs> Stop firing. I'll fix your gun for you. I'm not on your team. You might be next week. <laughs> That's brilliant. I like that. The bullshit. That is actually really good. I like that a lot. Uh, the bullshit stories you hear from other players was waiting on a marshal to get the game going. What I remember was this roid head looking piece of shit talking about how stoned he was at home and was certain someone had broken into his house who so went around room by room with his airsoft gun and it turned out to be his cat. <laughs> <laughs> the post-lunch whinge that starts around 1400. People who whine about hit taking and vocalize it loudly, bringing everyone down. Yeah, yeah, just tell the staff, stop being a wanker. The post-lunch whinge that starts. Oh God, you don't understand. <laughs> He's so right. Do you know what I used to do? Um, I moved lunchtime. I moved lunchtime. And I moved lunchtime to like 1.30 or something, quarter to two. Because the people who really wanted to play airsoft will carry on playing airsoft. And the people who want to go get some food will go and get some food. Then you have lunch, the actual lunch break, and then you have a much shorter gameplay period after lunch because when airsofters are full of nasty food and they're sluggish, they get whingy. The second half of the day is always the whingier half of the day. If you've got no whinging going on, that's great. If there's a little bit of whinging in the, in the morning, there's going to be a little bit more whinging in the afternoon. It's never more whingy in the morning than it is in the afternoon, generally speaking. So I put lunch a long fucking way away. And then people who are just too, oh, I've had too much to eat, I'm actually gonna go home. Yep, and it fucking works. It absolutely works. The whingers just go home. <laughs> and everyone else who wants to play airsoft is like, yeah, fucking fair play, mate. Bang on, yeah, that's what I used to do. Event hosts that do minimal chrono briefings, props, ethics, refing can go super hard into detail, but we'll leave it there for now. Yep. Just turn up to a site and there's nothing to do. Just go and shoot shit over there. I've got one like that near me. I've got a couple of good sites near me. You know? If you go to fucking Red Alert, you're going to get people being nice to you. You're going to get a good day of gameplay and they're not going to let you take the piss. You know? If you go to the other site that's near me, you are going to get absolute ill chronoed fucking mayhem. 
dangerous, boring nonsense. Yet both are super busy. Because people, ex you know, that, that's what they think Airsoft is. And then I'm using my regular site, where do you normally play? Okay, well, that's a place that doesn't ever fucking chrono anybody. That's the place where they just don't give a fuck. So, mm, that's probably why you failed chrono here. You can't possibly fail chrono at a site that doesn't fucking chrono. All the people who've just never practiced personal hygiene don't need to hear you coming, I can smell you, my dude. Yep. Every fucking morning they're smelly ass softers. I was talking to the guys at Bad Boys um, over in Denmark and they're saying, yep, they've got them as well. People turn up at half past seven in the morning and they stink of BO. Sites that side with the influencers no matter what, or sites that are co-run by influencers with games just designed for YouTube footage, cough, 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 names the S off site, cough, cough. Most of us agree with you. When sites specifically build their games rules around selling you stuff, e.g. ruling only pyro smokes bought on site can be used for safety, that's annoying, and green smoke equals poison, grenades kill everything, etc. I don't know about that, but... I guess I get peeved by people who insist their way is the only way to play. So what if I don't want to move up to the front or follow their orders? They didn't pay for my day out. Yep. Sites where it's all clicky with the marshal's mates and they bend the rules for their friends or at least turn a blind eye. Yeah, I've said it before, I've seen it, I don't like it and I've always stamped on it. I don't like it. Right, if I really grinds me, I don't get the fascination with 30 round per second plus builds when most sites are semi-auto for a reason. I turn them all from being semi and full over to being semi-only gradually took it away gradually took it away the chrono rules i gradually changed to make it a bit more in keeping with other sites when you're doing things one person's way uh you've got to keep it that way when you are now the person running the site you can't just change everything because it pisses people off and anyone who's been bollocked at for a rule last week that you've now changed this week along with a million other rules eh yeah that's going to grind people up the wrong way and then when we open the new site we put in rules that are far more uh, in keeping with what are standard nowadays. You know, it's what you do. You can't piss off the people who got told last week your gun is four FPS over our site limit. And then the week after that, told them that actually, no, it's fine this week. You can't do that. You've, you've really got to play it straight down the line. Marshals don't know the rules of their own games. Oh, fuck me. Don't. I know. I don't. Say it with me. Which doors are we closing for this one? Oh, I'll kill you. Sites that blatantly change their own rules to appease the regulars. Yep, that pissed me off. Yep, 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 yep. Letting a player continue after he got in a fist fight with a guy after refusing to take a hit off the other guy's kid. Wow, what a wanker. People who walk up to you during a game and says, someone said you're a tech, can you fix my gun? Fuck off, no, I'm trying to shoot that bush. Yeah. People who insist on the highest rate of fire possible, yeah. Non-hit takers, raw benders, yep. People who are wearing face spray that think they are justified going for intentional headshots on people who prefer to play without, yep. When the site regulars are too chummy with the marshals, we don't like it as site runners when people are too chummy, but sometimes these people are super nice people and they're a credit to airsoft on your site. Uh, that's different. Sites with only one regular player, they let go away with cheating, yep. My biggest gripe would be poor site management. The overly aggressive, like it or fuck off attitude really makes my skin crawl at some sites. Uh, I get there are dick customers and sometimes you'll be told, but there are a lot of genuinely nice people that, just like I just said, um, yeah, exactly. Um, you better believe I don't just walk up to somebody in the game zone and call them a cunt. That's, that's not how you do things, you know. That, that's what I do here, it's not what I do somewhere else. It's the wrong thing to do. Know your audience. HPA is more powerful than AEG. Christ, I know. Don't, don't. We know what we're talking about here. Forcing trade kills. Getting shot repeatedly by you, even if you've got the drop on them, and when they spin around and shoot you and they say, oh, okay, well, you know, you know, 50-50. Piss off, mate. No way. Fog. I used to run a fog machine. Really specific one. Game organizer brings her Labrador in the game zone and taking it for a walk in the game zone. Now, if there is no game on, there should be nobody in the game zone shooting, is my opinion. If you do allow that, anyone who goes in the game zone should be wearing eye protection. There are places where you've got, you know, during the game, the shop is closed. 
uh, because it is kind of in the game zone. And then the shop opens when the game is over. And therefore, when the game is over, no one goes out and tests fire. Okay? That, yeah. It's safe to go out there with no eye pro. Walking your dog in the live game zone. Fucking hell. If that's true, fucking hell. I've got X gun costing a thousand pounds. Brags compared to a budget gun then shoots the exact the same for most of the fraction of the price. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. This Spetner Arms of £300 worth of work is going to definitely outshoot your £600 CM recoil with £1,000 worth of work. It's a, it's a fact. Sorry. Those that might have been taken out by a rental or new player instead of hyping up for a good game. Yeah. Yes. Look after the new players. Make them feel good. Absolutely. Players who bitch about the length of the safety and mission briefs but can't keep their fucking mouths shut for 15 minutes it would take without constant interruptions. Then they whine later because they know what they're supposed to be doing. If you are yammering, there are other... If someone's talking and have a conversation next to me, I can't concentrate on anything apart from the thing that I'm not meant to be concentrating on, okay? ADHD, I can't do it. I am involved in everything else that's going on around me. I will chase a squirrel with a stick if you don't keep me under control. I'm going to go off and do something stupid. So I need people to keep quiet so I can pay attention. That's me. That's me personally. If you're yammering and being a twat in the briefing, you're making it so other people don't understand the rules. And if anyone goes, well, I thought I could do that. All right. I just have to record the briefings at the mall. So if someone says, oh, you didn't tell us that. Fuck off. Here's you talking at this time point when I said it. That's you talking and playing with your phone, you prick. You know, come on. When someone does the same thing 10 times in a row and gets blasted every time they try and you see them going in for the 11th time. No, just watch and enjoy it because he's going to get fucked up and it's going to be funny. Come on. People say upgrades make the riff less reliable, better off with a new one. Oh, yet have never had an upgraded riff. Yeah. I'll further that and go, I've never had a problem with my Nuke Pro Delta Recon. My Ares is, you know, the best gun I've ever owned. Is it the only gun you've ever owned? Is your benchmark always something shit? This is why people say promy purple rubbers and promy barrels are the best. This is why they fucking say it. Because they've never tried anything else. It's why they say it. YouTube wallabies with less than 100 subs tefloning up to get the footage. Yep. People who use WD-40 as lube. If you're going to fuck someone in the ass, WD-40 is absolutely fine. I'd rather have that than not, you know? People getting ultra aggressive and angry. Chill dude, it's a game. Yep. Any airsoft that is filming their gameplay and acting like they're going to be the best new channel, they usually end up ruining the game and pissing off other people trying to get their own content. Yes. Yes, they do. Splitting regulars and non-regulars for safety briefing chrono. Wrong on so many levels. Yes, Hugh. Yes. That's fucking annoying. Okay? That's annoying. Treat everyone the same. You're an arsehole. I'm an arsehole. They're an arsehole. Everyone's the same, treat everyone the same. People who take shit that does not belong to them rather than hand it into the marshals. I had a guy, uh, we said, we've got uh, a missing Maruzan P99. We know where it was left. We know it's been stolen. All we want is it back. Give it to one of the staff on the sly. Pretend you're going for a piss later on. Hasn't even got to be right now, it's later on. Give it back, then go home. That's the end of it, pretend you're ill. Say no more. And then, his two mates came along and said, um, that's the guy who we're here with. We all work at this airsoft shop. Um, we saw him do it. We're going to go home. We're leaving. Um, but I can tell you exactly where he's hidden it. Fucking wow. Really? That is n Back then, those guns were 200, uh, 235 quid plus mags. Wow. And that's your friend's. When people act like just because they have more expensive shit out there, it just means they're the dog's bollocks when it comes to actually using it. You better believe I've got some cool shit. But if you saw that one gameplay video I put up, I think you'll agree I'm fucking terrible at this. <laughs> <laughs> when site regulars chat shit all the way through the safety brief and the marshals let them. Yeah, yeah. Also right, he's a regular. Nothing's all right if you're a regular. The neck beard dressed like SEAL Team 6 who screams at you to take your hits. You can literally see their BBs fall on the ground 10 feet in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. And the final one looks like it's going to be people that recommend really expensive kit to new players. <laughs> yes. I will repair broken things for brand new players. I will charge them for that honour. If someone says to me, 
I'm new, I'm getting my first gun, or if I think they might be new and I haven't been doing this a couple of months, don't come to me yet. Learn what it's gonna do, learn what you want to achieve. Anyone who takes your money right now is a wanker. And when you get fucking sold a custom gun, and you've heard me say this in my videos a million times now, if you go to a shop and they sell you this amazing gun, then tell you you should upgrade it with this, this, and this, and they sell it to you, they're laughing away to the bank, rubbing their little fucking hands. Ooh, that's fucking tasty. Do you know why it's tasty? Because it's like giving a 17 year old kid a fucking Ferrari. That dealer is laughing their ass off. They're gonna have to continue to make payments even though they're wrapping that shit around a tree, all right? Don't get sucked into that. Don't do it. And don't convince people to do it. Is this gun good? Is the new Pro AEGs good? No, they're not. Is the Ares AEG? No, it's not, it's not good. But you're gonna break it anyway. At least ask the que some questions. Ask some questions uh, in the future. Is this easy to repair and make better? You know, that makes sense. Don't fucking sell them a fucking 500 pound VFC Samurai Edge. Don't do that because it's gonna fucking break down so quickly and so easily. Don't do that. It's fucking, it's wrong. It's wrong. When I'm the person that's telling you and explaining to you about morals, you know, if I have to explain that to you, <laughs> then there's something fucked in your head. I think that covers everything. That's your lot. That's the video. I shall end this with a wonderful video of Airsoft Fonzie. Please enjoy. Oh,